go into another computer animation tutorial in Adobe Animate and what we're going to be animating today is a rain cloud uh, with some thunder coming out of it. So um, what we'll do to go ahead and get started in this project is we'll go ahead and start a file new. Uh, Action Script 3 is a good way to start. Um, what I want to actually start by doing is drawing the rain cloud itself and then we're going to make that kind of be where all of our animation sort of uh, bases from or comes from. So I'm going to start off with this kind of like dark grayish color and use my ellipse tool to draw a series of circles. Um, I'm going to want to make sure that I have the no stroke color option selected so that I don't have any outlines. All right, so i um, just going to make kind of a series of circles up here, kind of layering some smaller ones and some larger ones in between to kind of create a cloud up here along the top edge of my page. I'm going to just keep filling in a couple spots here and there. Try and, try and get it there. Um, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll make it just come down a little bit more off the side here. All right, so uh, that works for my cloud shape. Um, now what we'll go ahead and do is select your cloud and press F8 on your keyboard. And what we'll do is convert this into a graphic. Um, this graphic, we'll want to call it cloud and say OK. Now we'll uh, go ahead and uh, label our layer rain cloud just so we know when we're on our main scene one. This is the only layer we should really see for right now. Um, we'll get more in depth a little bit uh, further into uh, part two in this assignment. All right, so while inside this rain cloud graphic, we are going to uh, create a new layer. Um, layer one is your cloud, so we should go ahead and label that and make sure that the layer that your cloud is on is by itself. Layer two, what we'll start to animate is the uh, rain itself and actually we want this to kind of come out from behind the cloud So what I'll go ahead and do is pull that layer uh, down beneath it um, Actually, maybe I'll hold off on that it might be easier to work on the raindrop over the top of it We'll just move it down later on. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll, I'll go with and uh, so for right now Let's lock that cloud layer um, so that when we get into drawing here um, we don't move it or kind of mess with it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to try and draw, actually maybe I'll stay out. Um, I'm going to try and draw a kind of uh, raindrop shape. Um, the way I want that to be is kind of a diamond shape. Now I'm doing it zoomed out a little bit so that I can see for scale, um, but I can always adjust it later. So I want this kind of a diamond shape to start with. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just kind of pull my pen lines a little bit here and kind of stretch that out a bit and then maybe squish it so it's a little bit narrower. All right, maybe change my angle just a little bit. Oops. Um, if I take my free transform tool um, and click on this first keyframe so I get the whole thing, I can kind of rotate it a little bit more. There we go, a little more straight up and down. I want to have a little bit of an angle, but not to be going too sideways. All right, so that's a decent shape for, uh, for now, for what I want to get into. Um, let's go ahead and make this have a fill color that's something kind of bright that we can see for now. Um, it kind of makes things a little bit easier. For the outline, um, you know, again, just kind of keep it to a bright color. Um, actually, what we could do is go with no outline. Nice, that actually helps my shape just a little bit here. All right, it makes it a little slimmer, which is good. No outlines on shapes, usually the way to go. Um, okay, so I was thinking I could move this corner just a little bit. Nice, okay, perfect. Nice little sliver of rain there. Okay, so uh, zooming out, that's how small it is. You can always adjust that uh, later on though. Okay, so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to convert this raindrop, our first one, into a movie clip. All right, This is kind of a key first step. We want to make sure we choose a movie clip for this one because we want this to be able to play just within one frame here. So we're going to go ahead and call that raindrop. And we'll 
we'll say OK. Um, all right, so now what we want to do is we're actually going to animate the drip inside of this drip uh, graphic movie clip that we just created. So zooming out a little bit further now, what we want to do is actually move this raindrop to be up in the cloud, right? All right, so now we want to move this here um, and we want to animate it going across our stage. So I'm going to go ahead to about the 10th frame on my uh, timeline and I'm going to press F6 to create a new keyframe on the 10th. And what, uh, what I should, oh, actually, sorry about that. Before we have to animate that tween, we need to make this a graphic itself, all right? So graphic within a movie clip here, all right? Because anytime we make something tween or move, it's got to be a graphic. So this is just going to be one drip. So I'll just call this one drip for now. Okay. So back to that step there. So I'm going to back up, hit F6 on my keyboard now on the 10th frame, and I'm going to animate this uh, tween going across the stage. So I'm just going to take this um, graphic now and move it across my stage here. Um, so on the first frame, we have it up in the cloud. Last frame, it's off the bottom of the stage. So now I can create a classic tween. Going with a classic tween because we really only need the drop to move from point A to point B. Um, no fancy paths or anything really need to be necessary here. Um, so classic tween works a little bit better than a motion tween in this instance. Um, okay, so now I'm back out here um, on my main scene. If I test this really quick, you should see one repeating kind of drip falling through the sky, okay? Um, and now what we can do is we are just going to copy this over and over in a row, okay? So holding the option key on my keyboard and then clicking on your graphic and dragging it, you can create a copy of it. And we're just going to make a whole row of these going across the stage. And then once we get a whole row, we can copy that row and then um, just keep using that over and over. So once you've made one row, you uh, things get a little bit easier. So again, just putting these all along the edge of the cloud um, and just copying over. Again, I'm hitting the option key on my keyboard and then clicking on the graphic and dragging it. So holding alt, clicking, dragging. All right. And I know it may be odd for now that these are still red, but we're going to change that in a second. We'll edit that graphic and then um, make it so that it's a white instead. Um, and when we change it to one graphic, it should change to all of them because it, uh, they are all copies. So make sure you kind of stagger them across. You know, don't put them too uniform right next to each other. Um, and if I test this again now, this is what I should see. So one kind of row going across. What you can see is because the angle, though, it kind of misses this corner. So I'm actually going to extend or add a few more drips to go across the stage a little bit further. Now let's test that one more time. And now it looks like I'm really kind of hitting that corner okay. All right. Um, maybe I will just kind of add one more just for giggles there. Just to make sure we're really hitting it all the way across. Cool. So now what we want to do is actually um, take this entire row. Okay. So we can select that really quickly and easily by just clicking on the first keyframe of this round of our rain layer here. Um, you can see that selects all of these graphics. And now what I'm going to do is hit the F8 key on my keyboard and create a new graphic that's this whole group of raindrops. So I'm going to call this um, Rain Row, kind of like rainbow, but Rain Row. All right. And now we have a whole row saved. What we're going to do now is go ahead and copy this the same way we did those drips. So holding the Alt key, Clicking on this graphic, we can pull and drag that and keep doing that and then layer these all the way up. Okay, and every once in a while, it's a good idea to kind of test run your animation and see how things are going. So this is coming down pretty good right now. Um, as you can see, it's not consistent. It's got that break that stops. So what I need to do is keep layering these up. Um, 
I'll actually have them go down onto the scene too um, and go right through the stage because that's actually where that uh, is coming from. And see how I'm kind of moving them to the right and the left to really kind of mix up um, the layering here. So it's not all perfect, right? Now let's give this another test. Now you can see that it's staying pretty consistent. Rain is flowing pretty consistent. Um, obviously there's a few things we need to change. The rain is in front of the cloud right now, which doesn't really make sense. It should be coming from underneath it. And then uh, the raindrops are, are red, which is a little odd, <laughs> right? So unless it's uh, some kind of acid rain or something like that. But um, so let's go ahead and make a couple quick changes here. Um, what we can do is we can change first, we'll change our stage color to something maybe like a dark black, dark blue kind of color uh, works well. I like this blue tint right here. Um, also, what we can do is uh, change the graphic color of the raindrop. So I can just click on any row of raindrops um, and double click on it. What I should then see is all of these raindrop uh, graphics, right? Or these are the movie clips rather, okay? So inside the row you should have the movie clips and then if you go into that movie clip, here is the actual raindrop graphic, right? The drip graphic that we want to edit. So I'm gonna double click on that again and all you should see is a kind of a highlighted um, one red drop. Now if I go ahead and change my color menu to white, See, I can make these be any color that I like. I could even go with like a light blue color, like a really light tint of blue. Um, actually might be kind of cool to use for this instead of kind of white or the kind of usual colors that we see. You know, you can even get kind of fun with it. So, um, all right, so see how that changed all of my uh, graphics. I'm going back out to my scene one now and I'll zoom out a little bit. All right, now let's test this one more time, see what we got. Okay, so looking pretty good again. Um, it does have a bit of a jump. I think maybe I need to add um, a movie clip or two to the edge here of things. Um, so again, go back inside of this, remember. So, and the other thing we need to do is move our, our rain underneath our cloud. Okay, so let's take this layer now. We can move it underneath the cloud. That way, when we look at this again, see how the rain's falling through the cloud or underneath it? That's a little bit better, right? Um, okay, but last thing I was gonna do is maybe just copy another row of rain up to the top here. You know, making sure then again, checking to see that there really isn't much of a jump now. Now it seems to look like it's really just consistently, you know, consistently raining, right? Um, that's the look that we are going for. Last thing we can do is take all of these rows again. We're gonna simplify this again. So we're gonna press F8 on our keyboard. We're gonna call this all rain. Okay, that's all your rain rows. Um, combined together into one new graphic, okay? Makes it a little easier to work with. The other thing that we can do is we can actually copy. So I'm hitting Command C and then Command V, copying and pasting this. And the last thing I'm gonna do before this part one part of this uh, video tutorial is I'm going to use my free transform tool and then make this slightly smaller and then turn it on a little bit more of a straight up and down angle. Now this is gonna create an effect of more of kind of layered rain and uh, will really help this appear just that tad bit more realistic. So let's see when I test that again, you can see there's some raindrops going from a little bit different angle. Um, lots of them, you know what, and it's a little fast too, but maybe I'll try and move this over a little bit. There we go, I think that that works a little bit better. Um, and this is going a little bit fast. I think my frame rate is 24 right now. I'm gonna turn that down to, let's say 16 and test again. And that looks a little bit better, okay? Consistent rain, but um, you know, you can always turn and change that frame rate again later. So just to kind of back up and look at what we've got here. Really on our main scene one, we have one rain cloud uh, graphic. Right, which contains everything. So when I double click on that, what we can see is two layers, the cloud 
right, which we locked for the most part, and then the two different rain movie clips here, okay? So um, that's pretty much all there is for part one here. Um, and I hope you have lots of luck. Next time we're gonna add the uh, lightning bolt and maybe some more details and things to this scene. All right.